welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're not gonna be doing anything M140i related. We're actually gonna be focusing on this beautiful G21 BMW 3 Series Touring. Red. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thanks for having me back. It's a glorious day at Goodwood, um, and I love filming videos here with you, Reg. Such a it's good great. location. And you've brought along your stunning um, 3 Series Touring G21. So this is the 330i with the M Sport Plus or the M Sport Pro. I can't remember how they word it, package on it. So um, you get a few extra options with that, and the biggest one is you get a limited slip diff at the back. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, we'll get you out in it, Reg. I'd, I'd be interested to hear what you think of the car. Yeah. Um, because I don't think you've ever driven or been in a G-Series BMW as of yet. No, nope, not at all. I've, I haven't driven one, nor have I been a passenger in one, so I have no idea what to expect. But from what I can see, it's a really good-looking car, isn't it? It is. I really like it. I think it's a really well-designed car, but then I'm biased because I've bought this car. And I absolutely love this colour, but yeah. maybe we'll do a walk around and we can talk a bit more absolutely. about the options on this car. Yeah. So here she is, the 330i, or G21 330i. So this car was registered October 2019. So this is one of the latest, um, this is the latest design. So B48 petrol engine. Uh, with the M Sport Plus package, I think it is, or M Sport Pro, I can't quite remember um, what that is, but I believe you get the gloss black or piano black grills and all down here, all this gloss black is part of that package. These wheels as well, these are 19 inch, um, the 19 inch alloy wheels. So they're the diamond cut with the gloss black, which is part of that package. And we've got the M Sport brake calipers here as well with 348 mil disc up front, 345 at the back. And surprisingly, this is an OEM setup. I've not done anything to this car and it copes really well with the heat at Goodwood. So this car has been on track. It's great out there and I had no issues with the brakes. And I really thought the brakes would be a weak point on this car because it sat around 1700 kilos and then you add me into it, it's even heavier, isn't it? Um, this is in Portimao blue as well. And you can probably just see it popping off quite nicely in the sunlight there. We've got a gloss black uh, roof rails as well, which I think offsets this car quite nicely. Um, as part of this M Sport package on this car, we've got an LSD up back as well, which I thought was pretty cool. This is an estate car. This is a family wagon and it's rear wheel drive with a limited slip diff, which is great. Um, whether or not I exploit the car enough to, to fill that. I don't really know. I think, again, the design is, is quite nice. It's all nice offset twin tailpipes, and they're not fake either. Uh, both those exhausts work, which is great. Um, although we do have some fake vents here, which is slightly annoying. Tell you what I do think is quite cool as well, is if you look in this bumper here, we've got, we've got some air vents here, which are meant to smooth the airflow across the wheel. Uh, for the aerodynamics, um, whether or not this car goes fast enough to make a difference, I don't know. But then if we come round here, there's a great big cooling duct here, which comes out onto the back of the brake discs, both sides. So I think BMW have done really well with the cooling of the brakes and the braking performance on this car. Um, as a package, although it is a bit, it is down on power in comparison to the M140i, the M340i, it still gets up the road pretty quick. So yeah, that's the um, exterior of this car. There she is, the B48. Wow. And look at this, Reg. Even got a little bit of carbon fibre. It's not real carbon fibre, it's obviously fake. But it looks good, right? 
Yeah. What I have noticed about this engine is how far it sits back. Yeah. That's quite impressive. It's really far back behind the um, the front axle, which is obviously good for handling, isn't it? Yeah. And because it's a four cylinder, you know, it's a shorter shorter block, so uh, this, they can um, do that, can't they? I think this is still set for a 50-50 weight distribution as well. Yeah. 260 brake horsepower. Yeah, or 258 quoted by BMW. 400 newton meters of torque. Yeah. Uh, it's a four cylinder, two litre um, turbo. So twin scroll turbo, which they're all, all kind of doing now. Yeah. Um, and obviously I haven't driven it yet and I have no idea what it's like on the road. So um, I think we should, uh, we yeah. should get on with that. Yeah, let's hit the road. Let's do it. Hey guys. We're in Lewis's 330. I'm getting ready to drive it. I've set the seat in position up. I'm feeling comfortable. So let's go. Oh yeah, it's there. It's already on. Oh, I've just turned it off, haven't I? Yes. It's because I can't hear the engine. It's yeah. That's really weird. It is really, I'm used really to quiet. Um, the Remus rumble, shall we say. Let's switch the stop start off as well. Yeah, definitely. I could code that out, but I don't. I don't really want to code it. It's still got a warranty and I can just press the button. Sure. It's just like my habit, I get in and press the start stop button and then that button and it's absolutely fine for me. So we're in comfort mode at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. It's got um, it's, it's got various sport modes, so it's got sport, sport plus, sport individual. It feels good, the chassis feels really nice and pliant. Um, you can definitely tell you're in something a bit more expensive than the one series. Uh, it feels like a bigger car, which it obviously it is. Um, very comfortable, quiet, relaxed. This is a bit of sophistication here, isn't it? It's really nice and refined. Um, and I say it'd be a hooligan. You can throw it, you can grab it by the scruff of its neck and throw it around, and it'll do that fine. And then it will also cruise around absolutely fine, like we've touched on. It take the family wherever you want it to go in relative comfort and refinement, which is nice. Yeah. We're just coming up to a national speed limit road, get past this cyclist, and then um, hopefully see what she can do. Right, let's get a shuffle on. It feels nice. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I can see what you mean about how it masks its speed. Yeah. Oh, you got up to good. national speed limit really quickly there, didn't you? 10 yeah. mile an hour to 60 pretty quick. Yeah. Um, the torque is really good, but do you see what I mean? You have to work this engine yeah. to get the performance out of it. Whereas the M140i, and I'm sure it's the same in the 340i's as well, is that you don't have to do much to get the performance out of that engine. Do you know what? It's not slow, is it? No, it is it's not slow at it's all. Not. It just gets, it delivers its power in a very different way to yeah. the 140. Oh man, it's I good. Also, it's, it's good. I also think for a two litre four pot, it doesn't sound that bad. When it's in sport mode, it's all right. Do you see what I mean by the ZF eight speed works really well with this engine? Yeah, it feels great. So there was some suggestion on on some of the forums in the F-Series um, that with the two litre diesel engine, it didn't quite, the ZF8 didn't quite match, match that engine very well or the two litre petrol. There was certainly a variant where that gearbox didn't really match up very well. Um, but then I think all of this stuff on forums is very subjective. They give you a good idea of what to expect and reliability and any issues, but I think when you're looking at reliability on forums, it can become a little bit of a place where people just go to, you know, when they've got a problem with the car. It's very rare, or I find it very rare, to see people just writing about how pleased they are with the car. Um, yeah. if, if anyone came to me and said, should I buy this car? I'd say, yeah. Um, mm. But again, it depends on people's needs. Yeah, man. If you want a comfortable, high quality, family car that you know sporty to drive has enough performance that's not going to leave you wanting more then this is probably the car to buy absolutely it's a great all-rounder do you feel the steering racks a bit quicker have you yes, noticed any definitely. difference I'm, I'm barely using any steering input whatsoever for it to change yeah. direction 
This is a lovely corner for testing a chassis. It is. Let's load it up. Oh, Ferrari oh. F40. Wow. Nice. Oh, Lewis. That was cool. That feels... Mate, this feels... This feels very good. Very planted, very easy to drive. Um, going back to what we said about the steering rack, barely any steering input there. And I'm actually oversteering it. I'm oversteering it because I'm used to the 140. Yeah. And it's a very adjustable car as well. Uh, you don't, uh, you don't really get to the point. Oh, oh sorry, mate. that's alright. They're run flats. It doesn't really get to the point where on the road you, you've really got to adjust it, unless you've really gone into a corner too hot. But on track, it is quite good. At Goodwood, I went into some stuff. Uh, a couple of the corners a little bit too hot, and actually you can adjust it on the throttle um, by changing your uh, your steering input as well, which yeah. is just a nice rear wheel drive balance. Um, I've never driven a car, well, before I brought this one, I'd never driven a car with an LSD on it. And obviously we did your M140i and it's got an LSD and then this one's got it as well. Yeah. Um, so it's good. And we actually did the same road, didn't we? We did. The 140. Dry condition. Uh, no, the 140 was in the wet, wasn't it? Oh. So you can almost be 100% mid corner in the dry and it's absolutely fine. You really can. You've also got to watch your speed with this car. Yeah. <laughs> More so than you have in the 140. This, this could get you in trouble, you know? I think it would make a great police car as well. I think it would, but I think the, it will do 155 uh, according to BMW. I've not managed to get it up to there. Um, well, um, you know, the eleventh straight at Goodwood is too short for this car to get there, 128, 130 is about where I'm at at the moment in that car. Yeah. Um, but what you do find is when this gets to about 120 on the track, it's still pulling, but you haven't got as much of that top end torque as the B58 will give you. Shall we do the junction test? We're doing yeah. exactly the same route as yeah. we did the 140. Let's do it. So we're in, we're in Sports Plus, yeah? Yeah, with a reduced amount of traction control. Right, let's see what it's like pulling out of a junction. Minimal. You get a little bit of tyre squeal and it just hooks up oh. and goes. It feels very capable, Lewis. Well, it certainly is. I still think it's more capable than I am. Yeah, it does pull you up this hill nicely. What a little engine that B48 is, eh? Yeah, it's, it's well tuned. Oh, I have started driving it in manual on the track. And when we go to Bedford, I will put it into manual. I feel like I... <laughs> it's funny because you said exactly the same thing. I feel like this car's got a lot more to give. You yeah, know, it has. I'm barely, I feel like I'm barely taxing it on this road. I'd be very interested to see what it's like on track. I mean, you can really load it up. Bearing in mind, this is on run flats as well. Car's not breaking a sweat, guys. This is great. You're clear behind. So okay. hard on the brake and floor it really quickly. Are we in the right mode? Yeah, yeah, just go. There you go. Oh! Yeah, that's good, isn't it? That yeah. launches pretty well. It's nice. It's oh. nice. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't like the potholes, does it? It doesn't. And also, if you find the creases in the road, uh, like the bigger bigger gaps in the road, you'll you'll feel you'll feel the run flats there. Yeah. Probably like these little creases here and that little dip there. It'd be hard to see this on the video. Probably things to come. I don't like the fact you have to look down. That yeah, it is like. annoying. Yeah, I love the uh, toggle switch in the 140 because you don't really have to concentrate on where you're pressing. You can just toggle up and down, yeah. and it comes up on the dash. And I don't, I don't think you can tell the car to put you into sport mode. So Lewis, thanks again, dude. I really enjoyed that. The 330i is um, is a great car, mate. It is a great, solid all-rounder, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Loved it. 
Okay guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. Thank you so much for joining me and a big shout out to Lewis for letting me drive his 330i. I really enjoyed the car. It's a great all-rounder and um, yeah, it, it just does it all and does it all very well and surprisingly quick too. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.